the best adventures are those that entice and intrigue you down the trail, the ones that offer yet unseen rewards for your efforts. Hi there, Grant McComey here, your host for Travel Oregon's Grant's Getaways. And this week we find our rewards in a coastal rainforest, the Tillamook State Forest, as we join a pro who knows all about chanterelle mushrooms. He's going to show us not only where and how to find them, but then take us into the kitchen to show us what to do with them when we brought them home. So join us as we enjoy an Oregon mushroom harvest. Weather stores figures it's simple. It can't be too wet, more light than you would imagine. If you want to harvest wild mushrooms, learn their habitat. But I, won't. I wouldn't be surprised if we start seeing them as soon as we get up to that little ledge. In the Tillamook State Forest, where sun and shadow dance through towering dug firs. Well, here we go, shanty number one. It's always good to get off the schneid early. They're called chanterelles, and since 1999, the gorgeous fungi have been Oregon's official state mushroom. As soon as you see the first one, I imagine there's this kind of chanterello vision that allows you to see that <laughs> unique sort of peachy orange, although right now, you know, with the weather change and with the leaves getting yellow, it gets trickier. There are dozens of other mushrooms that grow here too. Most are none too friendly to people and many are downright dangerous. There are old mycologists and there are bold mycologists. <laughs> but there's no old bold mycologists. I learned that when I was at culinary school. That is a lobster mushroom. The hue on that one is fabulous. Getting the dirt off of this is going to take you a while. That's not an easy job. Well, luckily, I'm the chef. <laughs> He's not kidding. He really is one of Portland's finest. They do shrink up when they cook, so you have to start with a fair amount if you want to really have that flavor. His restaurant, The Noble Rot, is set among a concrete forest in northeast Portland, where Stores masters the art of cooking a wild chanterelle ragu. It's simple company to many other recipes. The mushrooms hit a hot oiled pan. They bounce and sizzle and snap. He dices one large shallot, and home. when the mushrooms are nearly done, in they go, with a couple of chunks of butter and more. I got some big, beautiful parsley from up on our roof. On the eco roof, stores grow specialized greens like French breakfast radishes. Fresh, juicy, crisp. I love these. Meanwhile, out of the oven comes a cracked egg nestled inside a rich, grainy bread. Soon it is smothered in cooked chanterelles. That's one way that you could treat this chanterelle ragu. If you're fortunate to find them yourself, not only is this dish of the place and seasonal, it's also virtually free. I don't think it could get much better. Back in the woods, it doesn't get much better when my chanterelle vision kicks in. I find what had been hidden in plain sight. Look at that monster. Stores adds it is a magical time, so get here soon. And yeah, I get it every time, and I can see that kind of grin. It's just, uh, it's infectious. The Oregon Department of Forestry manages mushroom harvest on the Tillamook State Forest. Each person is allowed up to one gallon for personal use, any more than that, and you're required to buy a commercial permit. That costs $100, and you can find all the information for the Oregon Department of Forestry right here on the Travel Oregon website. A couple of safety points to keep in mind. Pick only the mushrooms that you know, and if you don't know, it's a good idea to go with someone who has picked chanterelles before. And also consider taking a mushroom ID class. Stores also advises that you stay close to roadways when you're in unfamiliar territory. A good tip, never get out of earshot of the traffic. You can find more information on mushroom hunting in Oregon on the Travel Oregon's Food and Drink website, along with that recipe from Leather Stores and information on the Oregon Bounty Wander Feast, a 10-week celebration of food and drink in Oregon. So until next week, get out here and explore Oregon's great outdoors and perhaps discover some culinary rewards of your very own. For Travel Oregon, I'm Grant McCombie.